bunch of crazy shenanigans to get the get the character running along the ground. Ugh. And we're going to have to recompile a whole bunch of stuff, because we do. So let's take a look at it and see if it's as we think it should be. So let's test those absolute angles and all that. <laughs> he just starts slipping through the rock. Alright, that looks like things are working pretty well for all that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of that, and um, why don't we boot it back up and let's set Bitey's animation controller, I mean, let's set that angle to something lower inside of our movement controller. So I'll pop open, pop open this thing and um, open the movement controller and go ahead and set rotate to match ground. I mean the, the max ground rotation to I guess something low. Maybe like you know 10 degrees or something. Let's see what it looks like. We just go to our movement controller. Uh, we should be able to go to our event graph. We should go to our on initialize. How come I can't set it? It's um, edit anywhere, but I guess it's not a blueprint editable sort of thing.
I guess blueprint read write is what we need. Like such. And then we can go mess with this thing. All right, we're just waiting until this thing is compiled so we can fix all of it. I think there was one other thing that I wanted here. It's going to be something like um, if current angle does n yeah we want this like if the current angle f math absolute value of the current angle is less than or is greater than a small amount and um, And we're supposed to snap. It's basically there's an issue here where if we're snapping and we land on a thing that's like flipping our angle back and forth, we're gonna have a, like two frames of it's gonna snap and then it's gonna snap the other direction next frame perhaps. So basically if snap rotation this frame is um, is true And uh, I guess it's snap and snap rotation this frame is greater than zero. What I want to see is if the current angle and the actual angle are too different. So if this is greater than like maybe 20, 20 degrees, uh, we're going to say um, snap is false. So we're going to call this the snap flip flop constant, or it's going to be the land snap flip flop angle. And we'll set it to 20.
So this should basically be something that detects if flip-flops are happening on our land and it'll fix that from happening. So the current angle is greater than zero. So we're not like straight up and down because we're straight up and down and be like, all right, fine, you know, like we can snap to the ground. Um, this this situation only occurs when we have two intersecting things where we'd be slipping on both both sides. So I think it's like this. So let's recompile all that crap and see how it goes. Because we're trying to get it, I was seeing basically when we landed on an intersection perfectly on the seam, he would spend two frames flipping around and um, it looked, looked bad. What we want to happen is him to basically pick one and then and then the damping immediately stops him from flipping um, the next time. Damping's like, no, nope, you can't do that. So we're working on it. It's like every time we do something with the motion, we just have like 20 little, 20 little fixes to make it look right because reality sucks. So we were going to change our movement controller initialization code in order to actually try to do this or not. It's our max ground rotation. Let's set it to 10 degrees, something like that. F math absolute value of angle. Alright, cool. So that totally does what we want.
what's our damping constant is 10 I'm gonna see if I can just increase that by a small amount and see if it fixes I don't know it I want it to be a little bit more precise we'll see see if this does anything So let's go jump on this seam and see what happens. I think it's just the landing animation. Just the landing animation. All right, cool. I'd say that's done. So let's check that in. You now snap to the ground and rotate accordingly. So I think I'm going to call it there. I'm just not really feeling it today. So thanks for sticking around and watching. I'm going to I'm going to sign off for now. I might be on later doing other things, but just kind of bleh at the moment. So thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a good one.